it over there. Probo on it. Looking for the big center forward in McGuire. Missing their central defender in Booster Schoberg. Hold on, McGuire 1v1 with Curdy. Takes a step on him. McGuire shoots! Just a piece of it. It will be out for the corner. Sheely gets it. This gets the post on the back end, too. You know, I talked coming in, I told you, this is a big striker who's good in hold-up play, but he can run a little bit. Check the touch behind the center defender. It's one of the most difficult things to do, to shift your hips, maintain momentum, and catch pace with the striker. Curti catches him on the back end, but a really good 3-4-3, three, three, you think, the Duke Blue Devils, right? And the great season that they had. There are plenty of teams around the country that play in a three-back, but I'm relating it within the ACC. So you go, okay, they play three-back as well. You start watching tape. There's a, so much rotation. And you've still got representation on the outside. Owen O'Malley on the left. Dominic Briggs on the right. So you're looking for McGuire in the channel, and he will outrun Salim to it. Dink pass, looking for Probo. Oh, doesn't. Still Briggs. Plays it back. McGuire's there! Off the line by Salim! What a big time play. I think it might have been Sinclair on the line. 100%. Yeah, yeah, that's who was on the back doorstep. We talked about the holding midfielder. Even off the little deflection, McGuire, right where he's supposed to be. He expects this ball earlier. Again, twice now in the span of 15 minutes, we see Curdy get turned. Pretty Sinclair just pinching back over. You kids at home, Ooh. never stop here. Don't ever stop. Jimmy V told. In swinging ball. McGuire. Jeez, just over the net. Great. Applying pressure to the Orange early. I told you, just test them. Just let them know that you're here. They will be starting in the pit game as well. Another long throw for McGuire. And Ashford again. Falls to Auguste! But they're 35 and 40 plus in the RPI for a reason. This is the number one RPI team in the nation. 10 wins against the top 25. They're 10 1 and 1. Oh, Get back against Washington, though, too. Number one, number one seed. Yeah. Number one in the top seed. I'm not going to bag on my boy, Jamie Gard. Duncan McGuire in the channel. And a foul flag. The flag goes. Oh, whoa. Oh. Extracurriculars. You disagree with the call? It's a dive on the back end by Duncan McGuire. And I was trying to give some props to, to Paul Cruz and, and see if you could boost his spirits a little bit here. But the first tackle is certainly not a foul. It's the secondary. Look, ball goes to ground on his own. When you get up right here, that's a dive. Mm. He leans up. Reach. What are you be watching for in the first few minutes here of the second half? Let's see how quickly they go up tempo on the out, outside. We've seen Duncan McGuire very active. I would like to see more out of Jackson Castro and Giorgio Probo for Creighton. He's throwing the ball now. He's Probo over the top to Castro. Folks on it, tries to put a first time pass to McGuire. McGuire oh, oh, picks it up! Oh, just wide! Fortunate, he forced a turnover and was almost his 23rd goal of the campaign. This kid works, man. He yeah. just, he has got some kind of engine, right? Look at the body, throwing himself around a little bit. He's got the pace up top. Hurting the goal scorer on the ball. Over to Oya turns it over, and uh-oh, this could be an opportunity. Flag stays down. McGuire on the run. McGuire rolled off the ball. Look at pass. He lands in the back of the net. I'm not sure if he got the last touch, but it doesn't matter. They've equalized again after going down in an NCAA tournament game. Brightest spot on the field all night long for the Blue Jays so far. Big East Offensive Player of the Year. 0 0.96 goals per game. I said the law averages plays out. Whether they credit to him or not, it's another story. Check the separation. This is what you saw in the opening 20 minutes of the first half. Right down through the middle. How's the touch across his body? It's behind him a little bit. To be honest, it's a...
a magnificent finish for the Mac Herman semifinalist. 23rd goal of the season. Our head coach of Syracuse, though, he said we changed because there was too much one-on-one, -on -one, too much space for Duncan McGuire to run into. Well, guess what? It went right back to the same thing we saw in the first half. 23 goals, the Big East Offensive Player of the Year, second team All-American. And remember, Matt Herman semifinalist, an opportunity for that young man to crown himself as the best player in college soccer on January 6th. He's a Matt Herman semifinalist as of now. 15 names announced. Dallin, I talked to you in the first half and we talked about keys. I mean, just one unit. They're starting to get away from that crate. Mm. Even though they're still stretching the game going the other way. They're throwing. Well, it goes down looking for a foul, not going to get it. Sorry, continue. You just got to be careful in the middle of the field. They're a little hesitant to continue to chase here. If you watch out in front of us right now, Auguste and Calum Watson, 35 yards for Duncan McGuire. Mm -hmm. And it's not for lack of. You know the decision to go or not they are staying they are staying home and just allowing it to be a one or two men game up top now Ben folks is starting to track a little bit for sure as is Jackson we had a discussion with him and I compared the rotation within the team of the national champion Georgetown team of 2019 mm -hmm. they had 20 guys that had over 20 appearances that season think about that that's a lot there are guys on a team you go over the entire year three Fire on it, lays it back to August. Briggs working. Briggs gets end line. Good cutback. Folks is there. Watson doesn't take the hit. Castro lays it off to August. Clever touches here. Watson takes it. Curling. Sheely's there. Really impressive, though, by the great Blue Jays. They don't hit the panic button. Because even though the space closes down, Calum Watson wanted that overlapping run. But as he stepped on it, he recognized not only had the run come late, the back line from Syracuse had dropped off. So he had seven yards to step into. Would love to have been able to lace that thing. But it got closed down a little bit quicker than he'd like. Still a good bender to the back post and a nice save. Sixth save of the match for Sheely. Watson lays it back to Auguste. Ball played up to McGuire, and he went it down. He's in a foot race with Abi Salim. Incidental contact, and then oh, McGuire's holding his shoulder as the ball just rolls out. Do not want to see that. Leading goal scorer in the nation. Struggling, and they're bringing out some treatment right away. He's been active all game. He's got six shots on the match, and Johnny Torres is now going to jog out there too to see what's going on. Excuse me, it's now seven shots in the match for McGuire. So the sub was warming up and coming on, was Alfie Pope, was coming on for McGuire anyway, but that might have been a breather. This may be different if he's injured as we take a look. Watch the right arm as they both go to ground when he goes to get up. That's where the cause for concern is right here. Mm. Well, I thought it came back across, but the body dropping in on him, it's a little confusing, no? It doesn't seem to be a ton of contact, but he does feel it on that left shoulder. Remember, he had rolled over one way. And he is, is yeah. okay. Second team All-American by the United Soccer Coaches. Those guys are newly minted as of today. He's already scored once in this match for his 23rd and record now for Creighton just to start this half. Got it going in the 50th minute. And another, the second touch gets away from him. It's the third one. You know, to adjust on the fly like that, both bodies, left shoulder, right shoulder, he knows. He's got to leave his feet. Full extension on his unfavored foot. Just a tiny little touch to get in behind. You did everything right. The penultimate didn't do you any favors. This kid, all season long, Duncan McGuire, has answered every single question. To think, four goals in 20, five goals in 21, nine in three seasons because he redshirted mm -hmm. in 2019. I'm going to drop 23 on you this year. Well, he's an Omaha kid, so there was nowhere else I was going. I wanted to go to I wanted to go to Crate if I had that opportunity. It came to him, and he was ready to go. He's delivered for that program. And again, 
He can check out now, but he can re-enter this match if he's okay. Alfie Pope came on. And Flicked down in the match along with Jackson Castro. Got his 23rd goal of the season earlier today, and he, he's picked on these long throws how they split their second goal. And you wonder how it changes, too, because he went out because of the injury to his shoulder, but multiple times in the first half, instead of using Callum Watson, they elected to take their talisman striker and let him have a go from distance. But if he is uncapable of continuing... Look at that! We've equalized the game! And Pope comes on, and he delivers his fourth goal of the season in a huge moment. Set pieces, strike again. That's the move by Johnny Torres, bringing off Duncan McGuire. Whether or not he does it from the injury, no longer an argument. McGuire taking all the long throws. He steps off, Watson up in, heaves this thing, and you just go to work. Who wants it more? We saw Luke Mitchell have a nice chance in the first half. He's right there, great flick on. Curdy doesn't get to the back shoulder, and in steps Alfie Pope. Everything given to McGuire, 23 goals on the year. Alfie Pope, no slouch himself, though. See who takes it. Agu standing over it. Creighton player is kind of in the way right now. Lorenzo Baselli scored a huge goal in the ACC tournament semifinal. Baselli did. They were down 2 1 in the 86th minute to UVA. Got the equalizer. They went on to win that in pens. Baselli gives it a low crack. Cruz with the save. And then they call the foul on the rebound. And I love this for Paul Cruz, though, because the, the first half that he had, almost a blund blundering nightmare, has been great here in the second half. He's recovered quite nicely. Two good saves. This one. Stage of the, turn of the NCAA tournament to Clemson in penalties. Trying to get one step further to the final on Monday. And again, McGuire is down again, this time holding his leg. Play continues. If it goes past 90, and we're not going to extra time. There is no 90-plus time in college soccer. When the zeros hit, we are done. That said, does that change at all? How Ball driven in toward the spot. Crowd by Ventura. Ball to Colts. 